They don't even believe that parents should have an opinion on the education that our children receive. What's up everybody? I'm Keisha King. Welcome back to my channel and today we're talking about candidate for governor in Virginia, uh, Terry McAuliffe. New explosive documents prove that McAuliffe's administration pushed CRT in Virginia schools. We'll take a look at this. Turn your attention to critical race theory. It's been talked about as well quite a bit recently. I have two questions for you on this. So how do you define critical race theory? I answer this question very clearly. It's not taught in Virginia, and it's never been taught in Virginia. And as I've said this a lot, it's a dog whistle. It's racial, it's division, and it's used by Glenn Youngkin and others. This is the same thing with Trump and the border wall to divide people. We should not be dividing people in school. So how do you define it? it, it Anita, it is not taught here in Virginia. But how do you define it? Doesn't matter. It's not taught here well, in Virginia. So I'm not going to spend my time on what it is. I'm not even spending my time because the school board and everyone else has come out and said it's not taught. It's racist. It's a dog whistle. But if we don't have a definition, how can we say it's racist? I just want a definition from yeah. you. It, it's not taught here in Virginia. We can ask about any topic. It's not taught in Virginia. Okay. We know he was lying because his administration actually pushed critical race theory. So this is from the Federalist. Federalist. Newly unearthed documents reveal that during his tenure as governor of Virginia, Terry McAuliffe's education department was publishing public schools to teach, was pushing public schools to teach critical race theory, according to a 2015 training program issued by the Virginia Department of Education. State public schools were encouraged to quote, embrace critical race theory and engage in race conscious teaching and learning as part of the program's culturally responsive teaching and learning principles. The slideshow also urged schools to adopt a quote, critical race theory lens when surveying culturally responsive alternatives to school suspension. Moreover, the article says, Virginia's education department has continued to promote critical race theory under the state's current Democrat Governor Ralph Northam in 20, Ralph Northam in 2019, State Superintendent of Public Instruction James Lane sent out a memo to school division superintendents that described CRT as an important analytic tool in the field of education that offers critical uh, perspectives on race and the, quote, dynamics of power and privilege in uh, schooling. He believes that parents should not have a say in what our children are being taught in public schools, even though we pay for public schools, even though we pay uh, the t our taxes that go towards teachers' salaries, that go towards the school board, that go towards the buildings, that go towards the curriculum, that goes towards every single aspect of them even having a job. They say that we should not have an opinion. The website promises you will implement the Virginia Department of Education's new model policy to project, protect transgender students. Now, that's a policy that allows students to use the restroom and locker room that matches their gender identity and requires school employees to address students by their chosen pronoun. But in the last debate, you said it should be up to local school districts to be able to create their own policies. So which should it be, statewide protection or local choice. I like locals having input, obviously, on such an important issue, but the state will always issue guidance, as we do from the Department of Education. But I've said this before. These children are going full, through very stressful situations. Why people continually want to demonize children, I just don't understand. I want every child in Virginia to get a quality education, but it was not. The parents had to write to veto bill, veto books, Glenn, not to be knowledge about it, also take them off the shelves. And I'm not going to let parents come into schools bill. and actually you take books bill. out and make their own decisions. You veto it. So, yeah, I parents, you stop it. the bill that I don't think parents should be telling schools what they should teach. And on top of that, he also said uh, falsely that critical race theory was not being taught in Virginia schools and would not even give a definition of what critical race theory is. And here they always say that it's the conservatives that don't know what critical race theory is. As you can see, this guy clearly does not know what he's talking about. And also, he does not believe that 
parents should have a say in our children's education. So it says, Virginia Democrat gubernatorial candidate Terry McAuliffe's disastrous interview with a local station on Friday didn't just show his unpreparedness and inability to budge from one-line talking points. It also outed him as a bald-faced liar. As many of these uh, proponents of critical race theory are, they are bald-faced liars. That goes for the Nicole Hannah-Jones, the Mark Lamont Hills, the um, uh, Sean Harpers, all of these people who think that, you know, conservatives are just it's a boogeyman or it's, you know, we're being hyperbolic or we just don't know what we're talking about or we don't know what critical race theory is. It goes on and on and on. We're not stupid. We know how to read. We've read the documents. We've read the publications. We've read the books. We know what critical race theory is. Can we just stop saying that? Because it's really quite stupid and dishonest at this point. And I'm tired of it. What they're trying to say is that people who are opposed to critical race theory are racist. They're trying to say that it's some kind of racist dog whistle. It's like, you know, it's it's silent, but only the racist people can hear it. You know, never mind that it literally would be more in lockstep with a uh, white supremacist or a racist because it says that uh, black people are pretty much summed up to slavery and Jim Crow. We can't do anything for ourselves. And you know that America is just racist to the core and there's nothing that black folks can do on our own in this country. And we need the help of all these other people. It says that, you know, if you're black or you're a minority, you're oppressed, sorry, but we're better than you. And we're your oppressors perpetually and there's nothing you can do about it. That sounds to me more in line with what a white supremacist would say. I don't know, you be the judge. Anyway, so the article goes on to say in Alexandria, a page on the Alexandria City Public School website promotes resources, including How to Be an Anti-Racist uh, by Ibram X. Kendi, White Fragil Fragility by Robin D'Angelo, White Rage by Carol Anderson, White Teachers Need Anti-Racist Therapy, and Why Teaching Girls, or oh, Why Teaching Grit is Inherently Anti-Black. And I will place all this information in the uh, description box below and put the links there so you can go and see this all for yourself. This is all over the country. This is in a ton of institutions, not just education. Um, but parents are correct. We have been correct that this is being taught in schools. And now here's another smoking gun. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Again, this is why I double and triple down that we have to pull our children out of these socialist Marxist indoctrination camps. I no longer call them schools. We have to pull our children out. And at the same time, we have to make sure that we elect good people on school boards, local government, state house and Senate races and governors, because they are the ones that can have the most impact closest to us. I know everybody likes to pay attention to the bigger races, but these local races are the ones that have the closest impact to us. And we have to really be careful of who we put in these legislative offices to make decisions on our behalf. And certainly we do not want people who are promoting things like critical race theory. So let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Don't forget to please like, share, and subscribe. I see a lot of you watching. Please subscribe if you find this content valuable. I will see you next time.